Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the pixellab.net. Today I have another beginning C4D tip. And this one's talking about the axis center. So let's go ahead and make a primitive object. So there's a couple things you need to know. One is that all of these objects are called primitives. And that means that they have all these properties over here uh, that you can change. You can change the amount of segments and all these different things, the size, the fillet. You can change all those things very quickly. So that's a primitive. If you hit this button, uh, this is going to make it editable. And you can also hit the C key to make it editable. So let's go ahead and do that. It changes to a polygonal object and you lose all of the control, right? There's no way to change all those things that you had before. Um, so I guess the key that I want to make clear to you is if you can help it at all, do not um, make your objects editable. Leave them in the primitive state. So let me go ahead and talk about the axis tool really quick. If you're from After Effects background, um, this is basically the anchor point. So it's the point where the object will rotate around. So right now you can see that it's in the middle of this cube. But what if we want the axis point to be at the bottom corner so it kind of rotates from the bottom corner? Well, if it's a primitive object and we go to our axis move tool, which is this orange arrow, if we go ahead and move it, it's going to move the whole object. Go ahead and hit C on this cube and now move it and you can see that we're able to move that axis point, right? So now if we go back to the model tool and rotate it, you can see that we're rotating around that bottom corner. Let's go ahead and undo all that so that it goes back to a primitive and let's talk about a quick workaround. It's incredibly simple, but just want to make you guys aware of this. If you go ahead and hit Alt G, it's going to put this cube in a null and a null object, if we go back to our axis uh, tool and then we move it you can see that we're able to move the axis point of that null and now if we go back to our model tool we can rotate that primitive cube uh, from that axis point where we moved it so the axis point of the cube is still in the middle and we can't move it but we can animate the null now so that's a great way to uh, be able to kind of give you a little bit more flexibility while retaining the primitive nature of this thing and it might not seem that big of a deal to a cube but uh, if you go ahead and put a MoText in, the MoText defaults to having the anchor point way over on the left. And uh, a lot of the times if you're trying to animate that, it looks kind of weird and you want it to be in the center. So then just hit Option G, go ahead and move it to the center, and now you'll be able to uh, have a lot more flexibility with your animations. So I hope that uh, gives you a little bit of information on the axis mode if you're learning Cinema 4D. Thanks for checking out the site, guys. We'll talk again later. Bye.